Sanchez, the highest earner in the Premier League at around £400,000 a week, has scored just one goal in 14 Premier League appearances this season. He came on to replace the injured Jesse Lingard against PSG, but often slowed play down and was unable to produce the tricky and pacey runs that characterized his play at Arsenal, where he scored 60 goals in 122 Premier League appearances. Manchester United caretaker boss Ole Gunnar Solskjaer made no attempt to disguise the fact that United looked far less effective with Sanchez on, and now Overmars thinks a stunning transfer could be on the cards. I have great respect for Alexis because he did extremely well in Arsenal, Overmars told Chilean radio station ADN Deports. Read more, what Paul Pogba did after being sent off revealed I do not know if it was a good decision to leave. After Alexis, Arsenal tried to sign another player like that, but he was not given, so he could go back to Arsenal. The Dutchman, now director of football at Ajax, spent three years at the Gunners during which he won the Premier League and the FA Cup. On his own experiences in England, he added, English football changes you, it turns you around, it took me a step forward. Arsene Wenger arrived a year before me, Dennis Bergkamp made a big impression in England, it was a fantastic time. I think we changed the history of the club a bit. These type of players were very important for Arsenal because that's where they take you to focus. A move is unlikely to be something that Sanchez would oppose. The breakup of his relationship with Chilean actress Mate Rodriguez in November is said to have deeply affected him and left him feeling lonely, bored and ignored, say The Telegraph. When Solskjaer was asked what he could do to get Sanchez firing on all cylinders again, the Norwegian made it clear it was down to the player. I can't do anything about Alexis Sanchez. When he plays he needs to find himself because we know there is a quality player there," the Norwegian said. Solskjaer admitted United were given a reality check as his unbeaten record as interim manager was ended by PSG. The French heavyweights were shorn of Edinson Cavani and Neymar for the first leg of this Champions League last 16 tie, but still proved too strong for United as Priestnell Kimpen and Kylian Mbappe secured a 2-0 win at Old Trafford. United take on Chelsea on Monday in the FA Cup before facing Liverpool back in the Premier League next Sunday.